Hello! This is Anna, the Pretty Shepherd, and today I am going to show you the hairstyle of Princess Pavita from the Witcher series. In honor of her hairstyle and honoring the law of surprise, perhaps today I could give you a surprise gift myself. But you'll have to stick around until the end of the video to find out what it might be. I mean, it's probably not going to be a child. No, baby. But I could get like an Erinus delivery of pizza. You want to find out what it is? Stick around until the end of the video. Princess Pavetta's hairstyle is very simple in the sense that you only need to know how to do English braids. But it's really effective at being elegant. For those of you who do not know The Witcher, Princess Pavetta is Queen Calante's daughter. And when we see her in the series, it's actually on her engagement feast. The suitor that the queen likes the most is from the Skellige Islands where they have somewhat of a Viking-like culture and a very strong closeness to the sea. I decided I would accessorize Pavetta with some jewels that you could find in seafaring people's culture. Shells and pearls. Also this scale-like pattern on this bell. Um, it's kind of fishy. And yeah, the brooch is there to just keep things decent. If you're wondering Wow, I also have one of these dresses with the flippy floppy ruffle thingy decolletage and I have no idea what to do with it because it's always like flippy floppy and it's kind of dangerous to go outdoors with it. Double-sided scotch tape, baby. For Pavetta's hairstyle, you will need wavy hair. If your hair is naturally wavy, good for you. My hair is actually naturally curly, but because of the length, the weight just pulls it down and makes it straight. I have filmed the process of how I prep my hair for this hairstyle right after washing. And uh, here's the video. Hello, this is Anna, the pretty shepherd. And if you're wondering why I'm whispering, it's because it's pretty late here. I figured I could film my go-to routine after washing my hair, which is to lace braids, just to get some wave into my hair. Also, if you were wondering if the Pretty Shepherd has sheep-themed wardrobe items, the answer is yes. <laughs> I'm going to sleep like this and have the waves uh, set until tomorrow. I'm off to sheep sleep. All right, I've already showed you how I braided this hair. I've just pinned it up the next morning so I can go about my day. This is my go-to routine after washing my hair. Well, this is what I like to call my mermaid hair. On Pavetta's hair, I think the waves start a little bit higher up. What I should have done yesterday is guided the braid closer to the parting, but I didn't do that as I was just kind of reflexively uh, doing my own routine, but we're just going to work with what we have now. Pavetta's hairstyle, as I said, is really, really, really simple. We are just going to make two English braids. We can do a midway parting in the back. It's not going to show, so it doesn't have to be perfect. On the left side, uh, we are going to pull the braid towards the nape of the neck. So we're going to try to center it relative to our head. We got very good shots of the side, back and front of her hair, so I think I got this pretty accurately. If I were to make this hairstyle, I think I would add a little string or ribbon into this braid right now as I'm braiding it. That seems to be more like my cup of tea. But that's not how they added the ribbon in the series. So I will go against folkloric instinct just this once. You don't need to tie this up as it's going to be hidden under the roll of the bun. So, this half is going to be the bun and this half is going to be the hanging braid in a way that the braid falls over the shoulder. Make it quite loose over the ear. She has it just tied uh, with a pretty long unbraided tail at the end. On the braid that is going to be the bun, we are going to add a thin ribbon. I've rummaged through my mother's collection of ribbons and found this... Uh, uh, <laughs> Duni. Anyway, I found this um, Duni ribbon. Uh, <laughs> you can just take the end of the ribbon and tie it to the end of the braid. So now we're just going to take our ribbon and spiral it down the braid. 
Pavita only has three places where this ribbon is showing through her bun, uh, so it's like three circles, but my hair is longer than hers. Well, that means you should just spiral it loosely. <laughs> As soon as you reach the end of your hair, you can snip snip, uh, leaving about 10 more centimeters just to be able to tie it off. I'm gonna wrap it around and then just tie a knot. You can tuck the loose end of the ribbon under and we can start putting the bun together. With her thickness of hair and her hair length, it's actually just one circle or kind of like one and a half circle. And with that, the bun is finished, but my hair is longer and not as thick. So I'm just going to do two circles and then finish. So one circle, two circles, Besides adding pins from the outside toward the middle of the bun, you can also add some pins from the middle of the spiral going outwards. Now the end of the braid is just brought over the outermost part of the bun, like so, and tucked away. If you have unwanted baby hairs, this is also the time to pin those away. For decorating the loose hanging braid, I'm going to take a bobby pin, another gold ribbon, tie a knot, and I'm going to hide this underneath the braid. Okay, now this spirals down pretty loosely again. I counted, she has like three or four steps of braiding between each step of the spiraling ribbon. Some 10 centimeters. We're going to hide the elastic, just tie it up. So there we go, Pavita's hairstyle. In all honesty, Pavetta's hairstyle is probably the dearest to my heart from all the hairstyles in the Witcher series. And the reason behind that is its simplicity and elegance. This might be because I started my historical hairstyle uh, career. It's not really a career. Uh, historical hairstyle uh, journey through folkloric hairstyles, which for the most part are very simple hairstyles which a girl can do on herself on an everyday basis. These hairstyles had to be easy and feminine and elegant. But I realized that maybe I like the simplicity of her hairstyle so much uh, because story time, I guess. Uh, we have a cartoon series in Hungary which tells folk tales from Hungarian folk culture and the animation style is something very typical. Uh, you could recognize it in an instant as soon as you saw it and so is the music, by the way. So, <laughs> what I really liked about them all the time is that the princesses in these big castles and everything, they are always wearing traditional clothing because obviously the folk tales were told by peasants, by village people, and I guess what they might have imagined as the kings and queens and princesses wearing was probably a bejeweled Sunday best based on the costumes of their own village. And Pavetta's hairstyle reminds me of that a little bit. I guess the hairstyle that they chose was probably not done on purpose, but it still created a very sweet touch in my own little heart. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and do comment below letting me know what you think of the simple, almost plain but elegant hairstyle used for royalty, even if it's fictional like in the case of Pavetta. Bye bye! Birdie. Wow! I totally wasn't expecting this letter to be brought by this beautiful red bird of paradise. I guess it's a really big surprise to me. Better check what it says. Thanks, Birdie. If you are already subscribed to my channel but you're interested in a real giveaway, then please follow me on Instagram because I am hosting a giveaway out of the unmarried items from my jewelry stash. So do follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs>